What's up YouTube? Jamie here with Restoration Ridge. I am back with another video and this one's kind of different. This is a, a video of me redoing my photo backdrop. As you see behind me, you've seen this in my previous videos. This is my staging wall that I have in my basement and we just put up the sheets of um, faux beadboard um, for, as a backdrop and I never painted it. I never primed it or anything. Um, we just hung it up and it's been that way for a few months since I moved in here. But uh, it's been a long time coming. I've been wanting to uh, flip it up a little bit and I am going to be using spackling paste and making a textured wall. You can see I already did a little test here on the side. Um, spackling paste is just what I have on hand to use and it's easy to work with. It's something I've used before to add texture. But what we're doing is we're just going to add a bunch of the spackling in no uniform, no order, and I'm going to cover this entire wall. I got a couple buckets of the spackling paste. Um, all-purpose spackling paste and I have my little spacklers you're gonna see me cover this whole wall you gotta let it dry so that'll be the tricky part with how long it'll take to dry because of how thick I'll probably put it on um, and once we paint it or once we get it dry we'll paint it I'm gonna do a cool textured look I don't know what colors yet so we'll see but here we go Now that the wall is completely covered in the spackling paste, we're going to let it dry and just to be sure, I'm going to give it a full day. The brush I'm going to be using is a chippy brush that I got off of Amazon for about $12.99. I got a set of three and they're a great thick and durable brush. It's a natural bristle brush and I just knew it would go great with this project. The paint I'm using today is a Rust-Oleum metallic accent which I also got off of Amazon $28 for a quart and I'm using it in the color champagne. I feel like this is going to give it the texture metallic look that I always love. And you can see I've already tested it out here in the corner and I think it's going to look amazing. Giving you an up close shot, you can see you really have to work this in and the chippy brush is great because the stiffer the brush, it's kind of easier to work it in with the type of texture I have on the wall. It's, you would think a more flexible brush would be easier, but I think that a stiffer brush, just like this chippy brush, is um, just much more efficient in getting into the nooks and crannies of the entire texture. Now you can't see it in the video, but I do have my Mr. Spray water bottle. I was trying to test out if I gave it moisture, would it be easier to spread around, especially with this rough texture, because this was a bit of arm workout already. And this is not a chalk paint, 
even though it does state this is for many projects, including furniture, but the moisture just isn't complementing the spread of this paint. So it wasn't necessary. I did think that it was worth it to give it a try, but now I know. So the wall's all done. I think that this is beautiful. I think the texture, uh, the whole pattern, and even the previous stripes from the beadboard, that pattern gave it this almost faux brick worn finish, which I love. This is gonna change the appearance and the quality of my photos. I know it's dark. Some people say that you want a light background, but I want a background that's true to my character as an artist, and I want it to complement everything I have. And hey guys, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and feel free to share. And here's an example of the purpose this new backdrop is gonna serve. And also, here's a sneak peek of my next video. This will be a simple DIY beginner's guide of how to paint furniture.